Kingdom. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Oh, hallelujah. Check this out. I'm going to break it down. Ba, 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 break it down. Mm-hmm. So, in Matthew 8.20, Yahushua said to him, The foxes have holes, and the birds of the Shamaim nest. But the Ben of Adam, the son of man, has nowhere to lay his head. He is looking for a body. He is looking for his people. All right. And then, um, so I looked at uh, John 10. Oh, my goodness. Bing. And it says, uh, I'm just going to skim through it, right? Because uh, this is good stuff, right? Um, all right. So Yahushua 7. Yahushua said to them, Again, truly, truly, I say, all right, no, 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 uh, starting number four. Um, and when he was, all right, not. Nah. Sorry, I got to start number one. <laughs> John 10 is so good. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter through the door into the sheepfold, but climbs up by another way. That one is a thief and a robber, but he who enters through the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The doorkeeper opens for him, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. Leads them out. And when he has brought out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. And they shall by no means follow a stranger, but shall flee from him. Because they do not know the voice of strangers. Yahushua used this figure of speech, but they did not know what he was saying to them. Yahushua therefore said to them again, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. Whoever answers through me, he shall be saved and shall go in and shall go out and find pastures. Right? The thief does not come except to steal and to slaughter and to destroy. I have come that they might possess. Hi! A spiritual life, chai, and that they might possess it beyond measure. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his chai, his spiritual life, his life for the sheep, right? But the hireling do not be in the, sh um, but the hireling and not being a shepherd. One who does not know, what does not, um, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. Now the hireling uh, flees because he is a hireling and is not concerned about the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know mine and mine know me. Even as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my high for the sheep and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, I have to bring them as well, and they shall hear my voice. Here we go. Uh, and there shall be one flock, one shepherd. Because of this, the Father loves me, because I lay down my high in order to receive it again. Boom, nobody takes it away from me. But I lay it down. Of myself, I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to receive it again. This command I have received from the Father. So they start like um, saying that he had a demon, right? Uh, but in twenty-two, <clears throat> I mean, I would just keep going, right? Uh, again, uh, there came a division among the Yahudi because of these words. And many of them said, He has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Right? Others said, These are not the words of one possessed by a demon. Is the demon able to open the eyelids of the blind? Bam, you know. 
At that time, the Hanukkah came. Mm, to be in Yerushalayim, and it was winter, and Yahushua was walking in the Mikdash of the porch of Shalom. Yeah, Steph, slow down, huh? <laughs> Yeah. All right. I'm s- yeah. All right. So the Yahudim surrounded, <laughs> surrounded him, and said to him, "How long are, do you keep us in suspense? <laughs> Is, you are the Hamashiach. Say it to us plainly." Yahushua answering them, "I have told you, and you do not believe the works that I do in my Father's name. They bear witness concerning me, but you do not believe because you are not of my sheep." As I said to you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them everlasting high. I mean, I could keep going. The whole, but the point is, he is in, he is in uh, during Hanukkah, which is to take out, uh, to take out the idolship, and he's declaring that. Well, we have to remove from our um, vicinity, our, our lives, is the voice of um, imposter shepherds. The voice, we have to hear his voice and follow him. This is how we get the super revelation of coming into the flock to begin his sheep, you know. And not going astray. So the I, I would think, you know, in my mind, because uh, uh, Hanukkah is a feast of rededication, right? We rededicate ourselves to to uh, to Yah because we have been mixing with the crazy world, you know, and all these uh, nonsense. And I find it incredible that um, Hanukkah is during the. This uh, time, the, the winter solstice, right? It's during this time that um everybody's like, uh, oh, getting a cut a little, a little, a tree and putting it in their house. Um, remove the idol. Uh, I wonder why. You know, like it's so obvious that we have to remove the idol, throw it outside. Never even put it in your house. Actually, you know. So this is all. Um, but it's teaching us. It's teaching us, huh? If we're gonna hear our our shepherd's voice. Ah, then we're going to follow him and we're not going to be doing things that the world is doing. I mean, if the world is doing it, it's not like common sense. The world hates, the the world hates Yahuwah, Yahuwah Yahushua. They, they, they go against all his uh, teachings, all, you know. So if the world is doing it, I mean, you know, obviously it's just like a, a red flag, huh? A super red flag. Boom. So then I was reading um, Micah, mm, Micah 2, 12, and it says, I shall certainly gather all of you. Oh, Yaakov, I shall bring together the remnant of Israel, put them together like sheep of the fold, like a flock in the midst of their pasture, they being noisy because of men. Uh, the breach maker shall go up before them. They shall break through and pass through the gates and go out by it. And their sovereign pass before them with Yahuwah at their head. Boom! If we put it all together, the sheep are coming into the pastures to, because we are the, following his voice. All right. Any other which way would be uh, a a thief and um, a robber, and, and it's gonna it's not gonna have the right garments because the garments yeah is calling us to bear is is um to to start training our life to become more like him. And so how do we instead of becoming more like any other shepherd, you know, by hearing their voice and following them, we. We see the discernment through the sermon, through the scriptures, understand that we could come back to the beginning, to the scripture in its fullness and discern it through His Spirit that He has given us. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, brothers and sisters. See you in the flock!